Welcome to another new makeup releases by your skip video. We are going to be talking about all the new makeup releases and I'm going to be telling you if I'm going to pick it up, if I already did. And you can also tell me if you picked anything up or if you're interested to see anything. I always love to hear from you. Let's get into the video. All right, I feel like it's a pretty slow week. I don't know if it is summer or what is happening here. Like It's been a while since I've been really this into the new makeup releases and really knowing what is releasing like in a week so maybe this always happens in the summer and i just don't know it but i feel like we don't have that many things to talk about okay first up we have the bella beauté bar molten metals six pen magnetic eyeshadow palette it has five multi-chrome shimmers and one holochrome shimmer this palette looks really beautiful the swatches here look stunning uh, especially in the low light it's very sparkly love the shades i don't really know if i need this doesn't really say the price here i don't really know if i need this like there are so many beautiful indie shimmers in my collection do i need to get a palette like this am i even really gonna use a palette like this i do have a little palette with just shimmers from glaminatrix but that one's quite neutral it's like i can tap it over anything for me but this one, I don't really know if I would use it. Like, I would like it if I would have it, but I don't know if I should buy it. Probably if I get the chance to buy this, I will make up my mind. For now, I just think it looks really beautiful. Then we're already starting with Fall 2024, of course, with the luxury brands. Dior has revealed a eyeshadow palette, cushion foundation case, and a lipstick case. Um, the eyeshadow palettes are what looks most interesting. We have kind of like a pinky one, a peach, a blue, and kind of like a cool tone one. I don't really know what's going on here. I don't really buy Dior. I've never tried any of their queens. I'm not gonna say never, but right now it's not really in the cards for me. And then we are talking about a lot of blushes, like the past few weeks and today as well. This is a new liquid blush by YSL. It's gonna be a second skin effect liquid blush, highly pigmented formula and light texture that melts into the skin for a long lasting healthy glow up to 12 hours. It's supposed to blend easily and can be applied to bare skin or over foundation. It's gonna be six shades and it's gonna be coming soon in July. These look very interesting. I don't think I'm gonna buy it, but it looks kind of interesting like the shades are not exactly what i would expect there's one a really light kind of peach or apricot shade and then there's this really light kind of almost white light pink shade and then we have four kind of like regular blush shades i have a feeling that those two like the apricot and the white are gonna be meant more as like a mixing shade like if you want it to be more light or cool tone you can use the one if you want it to lean more warm you can use the other one i don't think i'm really gonna buy this it doesn't really attract me something about this packaging but it could also be the photo that i have here in front of me it doesn't really pull me in i feel like it looks a little uninspiring but Maybe like better photos will come out, but I don't really see myself buying this. Then there's also going to be new lipsticks. Extra matte lipsticks by Valentino in nude and pink colors. The packaging of this looks pretty cool with the studs. Um, the swatches of this kind of make me think of like blurring lipsticks like the Nala ones that they recently released. I don't feel like this is really gonna be a launch for me, but I can appreciate the packaging. The colors look beautiful. We don't have a lot of information yet here. I'm not sure if I'm really into the matte lipstick, if I'm really getting into the matte lipstick, if I'm really like hopping on the trend. I don't know yet. I've been really enjoying the Lip Velvet formula from ABH. It's not impossible, but I don't know yet. If I'm really gonna be wearing matte lips again like regularly but maybe I'm reading too much into it maybe I'm making this way too dramatic like I don't have to do anything just because there are some matte lipsticks launching then we have a new collection by Gloss Gloss a mini eyeshadow collection it's called the Let's Pop collection we have six monochromatic five pen palettes in six different colors the price per palette is gonna be 27.95 euros and then there's also a bundle price which is going to be 130 euros so i got a little bit overwhelmed by this collection i don't mind it 
but I felt a little bit overwhelmed, but I did buy two. I bought the pink one and I bought the purple one, the ones that were colors that I didn't have yet from Glass Gods, but seemed like colors that I would want to wear, like would want to dip into more. Like the green and the blue also looked really beautiful, but I don't feel like I would use those enough. Like I wasn't gonna buy the whole bundle um like i didn't want to buy the whole collection i think in the end i'm gonna prefer the bigger palettes from them but i just really want to try another format from them i think i would have preferred if these palettes weren't as monochromatic but honestly i'm not gonna complain i love the gloss gods formula i am excited to have these colors that I ordered in their formula. So, you know, when I really like a brand, I am not gonna complain. I'm just happy that they are launching extra stuff. Then this is the Peach Perfect palette by Grumont Girl Cosmetics. I've never tried this brand, but I've heard really good things about it. This palette looks really beautiful. I love the combination of the teals and the blues and then the peaches. If peach was my shade, like if peach was my color, if I would feel like I would look good in this, I could have been convinced because I really like color story, but I don't think this is gonna be for me. But I can really appreciate it for what it is. I think it looks really beautiful. I saw Angelica Nickfist's video on it and she said there was like a holographic peach shade in it. It looks really beautiful. Um, so I can really appreciate it. It's, it's stunning. Then one of the things I am certainly gonna buy is the new lunar beauty launch this is the moon prism liquid blush launch there are gonna be six different shades of liquid blush that is coming out with i think the shades of these look really amazing i really love kind of like the rosy tone the light lilac and pinky you already know that i am really into that like that's my thing um the way this looked on the skin when he swatched them on his cheek it looks really really nice it is more of a satin blush it's more of a full pigment satin blush but i think i'm really gonna enjoy these especially if they're gonna be a little bit more like on the blurring side on the skin very excited to try these i'm still kind of debating what i'm gonna do it is gonna depend if these launch at Boozy Shop or if these only launch at Luna Beauty at first. I haven't really seen any information about that. This is gonna launch in like an hour or two. So the ones that I like the most are the more rosy tones and the light pink. Um, on my pick of three, probably will do that. Like I want to try them all, but I have to calm down a little bit. Like, you don't need all the lushes. Then four new quads coming from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. These are their new single eyeshadow quad bundles. They are launching today or are they already launched? These are the diamond metallic quads and these are 38 Australian dollars. These look really beautiful. Honestly, if these were a little bit easier for me to pick up, if I could just like run to the store and grab these, I would probably buy these. I think the price isn't too bad on these and the colors are really beautiful. I love Glaminatrix formula. I just feel like I have to focus a little more, like I cannot buy all of the makeup. And this is a thing that I can skip a little bit more easily because it's just quads. If this were like a full eyeshadow palette, I would be more interested. I don't know what it is, but quads don't get me as excited as like a full color story. And I think if there's just this feeling that I don't really need something, I just have to go with that because I'm buying so much makeup. I have to calm down. Then we have these liquid blushes, the Unreal Liquid Blush by Hourglass. There are going to be seven different shades. They are in this like squeezy packaging with the little um it's not really like an applicator like you can squeeze out just a little bit with these uh i don't really think i'm gonna buy these i don't really think i'm gonna need this hourglass is not really a brand that i use a lot like this is a type of brand if somebody tells me this is the best thing i've ever ever tried look at this hourglass blush i could be convinced like i could be convinced by a review but i'm not gonna try this myself i'm not gonna be reviewing this myself this is just this is not really a brand for me like i'm sure all of their products are beautiful but right now i'm not paying too much attention to it i'm not really buying it then the Beachy and Peachy palette from Nomad Cosmetics. I talked about it last week, but it hadn't been shown yet. And now we've seen the inside, we've seen some videos, like the videos are out, the reviews are out. I think it's already launched. Yes, June 25th. 
I have to say, this makes me think a lot of like the Natasha Denona Circle Loco. It has such bright, punchy shades, like a arrangement, an array of punchy shades. And for me, this is too punchy. Like, I don't mind any of these colors like combined with other colors, but seeing this all together, it's just a little too much for me. I'm sure there are really beautiful looks to be done with this. I'm sure if I had it, I could do really beautiful looks with it, but it's just a little too bright for me to go for it. Like there are too many shades, too many different shades in here. It's all very vibrant. It's not for me. Then this is gonna be the last thing I think. This is the Martina Cosmetics Hot Gloss Boost Color and Tint Serum. So we hadn't talked about the Boost Color yet and that's gonna be a lip oil. I quite like that she is doing this more like group of different products together like this, launching them together like this. Like you can pick and choose which one you think is gonna be more up your alley or maybe you wanna try all three. I like it personally when brands have higher shipping when they do group launches because then you can like buy it all together you only have to pay shipping once or you don't have to pay shipping because you've reached a certain threshold so i do enjoy that not gonna pick this up but i did want to mention it okay this just posted this is the new rose perfecto limited edition collection by Givenchy. It's a Rose Perfecto Liquid Lip Balm for $39, Color and Care, that's in two shades. And then we have the Rose Perfecto Lip Balm, also $39, Fresh Longwear Color and Lasting Hydration. And then we also have a Prism Libre Pressed Powder. This looks cute. It does look cute. I don't really need it. I don't think the shades over me this is not really a brand that i'm into like if i had all the money in the world maybe but right now this is just not something i'm gonna do wait there's more well, apparently everything is being posted as i'm filming this okay we see the outside of a new adept cosmetics palette it's gonna be limited edition it's called legend of ardra and it looks really beautiful on the outside like it's Kind of like iridescent, it's a holographic, like it's shifting and it has a really cool imprint. This is looking beautiful, can't really say much about it yet. Adept is one of the brands that I want to try eventually. Like I want to try it, I want to be in the know, I want to know what's going on, but I'm slowly, slowly making my way through the indie brands and I feel like I might, I might go for Adept somewhere in the future. Do have to say that they do like a very very shimmer heavy palette and they do love shimmers but sometimes I just I also need the mattes to kind of give the look some structure so I don't know I haven't been convinced yet and then we also have a new Tarte Cosmetics palette and this is the Tarte Reflections Amazonian Clay palette it's gonna be $54 reflect on 25 years of Tarte 10 shimmers 12 mattes 3 glitters and 3 satins okay the glitters are not convincing me when i'm looking at kind of like the swatches it's not looking like there's a pressed glitter but i kind of don't trust it now i guess it looks kind of nice there's some different shades in here but i don't think it's gonna be nicer than the cosmic brushes neutral trolls palette that i have here in front of me that i filmed with and that video is gonna be up probably before this one i think i don't need this so, so in the end for this week's makeup releases i'm probably just gonna pick up a few of the lunar beauty blushes and i'm gonna do a video probably combining it with a few different things with the two palettes from the let's pop collection from glass Gods. so you can look forward to that like if you're excited about that and then that's gonna be everything for today thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one bye bye